Okay, hello everyone. This is uh, Dan Calloway again and coming at you and I'm going to do a follow-on video to uh, a video I did previously where I created a MySQL database in PHP My Admin and then uh, access that database using LibreOffice uh, base. I'm going to do that again but then I'm going to add an additional application to the mix in this video and show you how you can interrelate uh, the three of those. So let me go ahead and fire up the terminal. I'm in OpenSUSE Linux here. Uh, let me put in my password for sudo. And I've got a, an alias that I created called Maria DB Server. It brings up this champ 5.6.30-0 interface. I'm going to go ahead and hit the servers tab. I'm going to start the Apache web server. We're going to need that for PHP my admin access and then let me go ahead and uh, start up the MySQL database server as well. It takes a few seconds to start these up. The, PH the Apache is starting and uh, MySQL database is starting as well. The MySQL database and the Apache are now running so let me go out to the welcome tab and go to go to application. It's going to take me to the champ page uh, where I can uh, access my PHP my admin application. Here it is champ Apache MariaDB PHP and Perl. That's what that stands for. It's the Linux version 5.6.30. Let me click on the PHP my admin tab and that'll open up PHP my admin. Alright, so I want to create a database here and uh, MySQL, which is actually in this interface is MariaDB, but it's still referred to as MySQL, if you'll notice there. So let me click Databases and let me create a database. Let me call it Test2DB um, and go ahead and create it. Alright, and I'm not going to put any folder or any uh, table structure rather in here at all. I'm just going to create the database so let me go ahead and get out of uh, this interface and now I'm going to go ahead and um, done with this for the moment let me minimize this interface and minimize the terminal let me go ahead and fire up LibreOffice base and connect to it and I'm going to use a JDBC connection that I downloaded earlier from the web uh, and I'll show you how, um, I won't show you how to do that, but I'll show you what I did. Alright, so I'm going to collect the, uh, or select rather the base, dbase, or database. Opens up this database wizard here, and I'm going to not create a new one, but I'm going to connect to an existing database that I just created. Let me select the down arrow here and select MySQL. Notice there is no MariaDB connection here in, or in LibreOffice. Alright, so I'm going to click the next button here. I'm going to connect using that JDBC uh, connector that I downloaded earlier and installed. The uh, database I want to connect to here in Libra Office is test2db. Server is localhost or 127.0.0.1. The port number is 3306 and here is the connection, the driver rather which is that JDBC driver that I talk, spoke about. Let me click Next. Now every user in MySQL databases that are created in PHP My Admin, there is a default user called root. I'm not going to say that there's a password required because I didn't set one to make it simple. Let me click Next. Um, I want to register the database and also open it for editing. So let me go ahead and finish and that opens up uh, another interface asking me to give it a name for LibreOffice purposes and so let me go ahead and call it test2db.odb and I'm going to save it in the documents folder or directory click save and that should open it up and it does and notice that there's no table structure here because I haven't created any yet, but there's the test2db.odb file. Alright, so what I want to do now is I want to use the wizard to create tables, and so let me select that option here, 
and come over to the business category and down arrow tasks and select uh, products. All right, and in the products, I want a product ID as one field. I want a um, uh, let me see here. Let me select the product name as another field, uh, and a unit price as the third field. So I've got product ID, product name, unit price. Let me click next, and I am going to go ahead and leave this as it is. Click next. Um, I'm going to tell it to use an existing, or rather, define a primary key. So I want to define the product ID as the primary key. So let me select that and put it in that side. And do next here. And I want to call the table products and start inserting data immediately. So let me click finish. All right. So product ID here, number one. Product name, widget one. And unit price of $3. Product ID 2, widget 2, just to make it simple. Tab over, let's say $5. And uh, product ID 3, widget 3, and $10. Okay. Let me go ahead and close this table. It's going to prompt me to save it. I'm going to say yes. And now you notice the database is underneath the tables area and I've got a products table here. So if I double click it, there's my products table that I just uh, created. Alright, so now I want to create another table and same category. Um, I'm going to call this one contacts. Um, I want to put in my contacts here. Um, last name and then first name and contact ID and let's go with city and finally let's go down to state or province uh, if I can find it let's see it's gonna be here somewhere hmm. let me look for it again <laughs> Well, that's interesting. Oh, there we go. Country, region, state, province. There's right here, right here. Couldn't find it. All right. Now, I want to put contact ID at the top, so let me select it and bring it up to the top of the list. And then let me go ahead and click Next. Um, here, I'm going to leave this default as well. Click Next. Um, I'm just going to leave this alone. Click Finish. All right. And then I'm going to start adding information here. So. Uh, looks like I forgot to uh, take the one ID out. That's okay. Last name of uh, Wilkins Red City Asheville. Let me expand that over a little bit. And state of North Carolina. Number two, one thousand two. Uh, Let's do uh, Smith, uh, John, um, let's go with Fairmont, West Virginia, number three, 1003, I don't really need that those two fields together, but I'll just leave them for now. Um, last name of, uh, let's go with Walker, Mary, and she lives in Albuquerque. Mexico. All right, and let's go ahead and close that table and save it. And so now we have uh, two tables. We have a contacts table and a products table. All right, so if I go out to tools and relationships, I've got the two tables here in the add tables wizard. So I'm going to click add and then I'm going to click contacts and click add as well and then close this dialog. I'm going to bring this down a little bit and expand it out so we can uh, see 
Let's see if I can grab it here. Well, let me just bring it down and then bring it over. All right. Okay, so if I click on product ID and I want to relate that to the contact ID, I should be able to relate those two. I'm having a little bit of a problem here in this um, interface. It's not uh, cooperating with me. Um, yeah, well, there we go. So it did create the relationship this time. So there's the relationship that I have, a one-to-one -one relationship between the product ID and the ID field. The problem is, is I shouldn't have created the ID field at all. I should have left it contact ID only. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. All right. And I am now going to go ahead, and we've created two tables here under the test2db database, which is the Maria DB database. I'm going to minimize this interface. And now I'm going to open up another application that I want to show you called dBeaver. And this is the community edition of dBeaver. Uh, dBeaver is used to access and work with, manage, if you will, various databases. Uh, MariaDB and MySQL happen to be two that it works with. And this is a MariaDB database, so I'll be able to tell dBeaver that this is MariaDB. Um, all right, so let's see. Let me close this interface and uh, close this all out together. I had a previous one up. And so let me get rid of this all together. Delete. All right. And yeah. Okay. All right, so now I'm getting back in here. I want to come up and click um, File and then New to make a new connection. All right, and I'm going to tell it to use the uh, database connections here under dBeaver. So I'm going to click Next. And now I'm just going to select the type of connection that I want to use. And so I want to come down and select Maria DB here. I want to select the next. Um, I'm using the server uh, host as the local host with port 3306. The database I'm accessing here is the test 2 DB. Username is root. And again, I'm not using a password. I'm going to click next. Uh, I'm not tunneling at the moment because it's not secure. I'm going to click next. Look over the screen here. It looks okay. And I'll click finish. And, and then that puts that under the database navigator here. I'm going to select the down arrow and it loads the information. It's actually accessing the MariaDB database right now. So if I select the database downloads uh, arrow rather uh, for, for selecting it down, let's come down to the test2db which is highlighted for me and select that and expand it and expand the tables and there are the two tables. So if I double click the context table there's the structure of that context table. If I click on the data tab, it shows me the actual data that I loaded in there. So this is pretty slick here. Uh, let me come to the products. Let me double click the products table. Then it loads the products tab up here. I can come over and see that I've got the data because I had the data tab open. Uh, here are the properties on that particular table. All right, and then there's a third uh, tab here called diagram and if I bring this down a little bit to show you it shows the relationship that I have built up here between these two tables which is the product ID and the ID of the contacts table here. Um, so this is dBeaver. Uh, I can actually go in here and if I wanted to I'd go into the data of this particular table that I have open right now, products, and I could add to it as well and manipulate it and change it in some way Okay, so that's dBeaver. Shows you how to connect to a MariaDB database. Let me minimize that for one more moment here. Let me get back into um, my Champ platform. And let's go back out to the PHP My Admin and show you that uh, we were working with the live MariaDB uh, database on the MariaDB server uh, because now there's the test2db, and if I select it, the database. There are the two tables 
that I created in LibreOffice uh, base. All right, and if I double click the contacts table, there's the structure with the data loaded in there that you can see. And I can manipulate it even further here in the PHP My Admin interface. All right, so uh, let me show you how to shut this down. Let me go ahead and close down the PHP My Admin. Um, I've got the dBeaver open, so let me go ahead and close dBeaver. It's going to ask me to save it. And yes, I do want to save it. Um, and I believe I've got everything. Um, oh, I've got this interface open. Let me close that. All right, now I need to go back out to the servers and shut them down uh, gracefully. So we've got the MySQL or MariaDB database server running and the Apache. I'm going to head and do a stop all here to stop all the servers from running. So it's stopping those servers right now. Eventually it will say stopped. And when all of them say stopped, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and close this and say yes and remember we started this in a terminal and so now I'm at the prompt to exit the terminal and I'm done so this has been a video demonstrating creating a MariaDB database uh, in PHP my admin then accessing and manipulating managing and adding tables in LibreOffice base and then going into dbeaver and working with that as well have a nice day.